Well, join us on the program now is the President and Chief Executive Officer of Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian, and that is Robert Braithwaite. Thanks so much for joining us this morning on the program. Good morning. Now, you're kind of a local guy. You've been here in the community for uh, some years now. I have. Born and raised here in Orange County and uh -huh. now live in Laguna Hills. Yeah, so you stayed really close, right? I did. I thought it was interesting. You've been with Hogue since 1992, so you've had a, a long tenure there as well. I sure have. It's yeah. been a wonderful career. You started off, uh, I believe, as an administrative guy and just kept working your way through the process? Yeah, I actually started off as an intern uh -huh. and then worked my way through the various departments of the hospital and wow. ultimately landing in the CEO yeah. seat. We're having an intern on the program a little bit later and I, I always in, uh, encourage people that when they pick their internship, it's really important because that's their first entry into employment. And if you can prove yourself with a good company, you know, don't just use it at transition, hey, I'm trying to get my credits, but actually look at it as, as, as a job. You never know what could happen, and it actually worked out for you. Yeah, it was, it's been, well, it's a great organization. Right. It's been um, wonderful for me and my family and my career. Good for you. Well, let's talk about the healthcare industry. I mean, we've seen so many changes in healthcare, especially in the last five years or so, probably more so than the last 20 years. You know, what has Hogue done to, to manage that se themselves during these changes within the healthcare industry? Yeah, that's a good point. Healthcare has always been an evolutionary um, type organization, but we're right now in a revolutionary period of time. And, you know, several years ago, our board of directors actually spent a lot of time looking forward and saying, how can Hogue better serve the community? Right. That really helped us as we went into a period of change. And so um, for 60 years, we've been a wonderful hospital with great quality and a great brand but they really pressed us to think outside of the walls of the hospital and move deeper into the community. And so that's what we've been doing for the last four to five years. And I believe you've been doing that with your urgent care centers throughout many communities, correct? That's a great example. So the urgent care centers are a wonderful way to reach deep into the residents, uh, residential areas of, of the community. We have big health centers as well, which we've been doing that similar right. uh, strategy. And obviously it's just reaching, bringing healthcare to where the people are. Right, now you've joined an alliance with St. Joseph Health Healthcare or Health uh, Services, I believe. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, that's strengthened your, your position here in Orange County. So what is that really, what is that partnership really brought to the both of you? You know, it's a great question. So um, our relationship with St. Joseph was one where we really wanted to serve the broader community mm -hmm. as they did as well and move beyond the notion of providing just sick care or the care to people who are inside the hospital, but actually provide health care and wellness. And so St. Joseph had a similar philosophy, and so we brought together the two organizations, mm -hmm. created a new company, which we called St. Joseph Hogue Health, mm -hmm. and that purpose is to actually um, provide health care right. and wellness care to Orange County residents uh, across the region. Right, and just like you just said, the key there is wellness. Right. You know, we're not just here to treat symptoms, you know, we want people to be well so they don't have to see, you know, professionals in the healthcare industry, you know, every six months, you know, for whatever ailment they might be suffering from. So it's really an educational process. It is. And that's consistent with our mission. Our mission is to provide health care. Right. And so when the board evaluated that, they said, you know what, we can do this better and let's find some partners, mm -hmm. which now includes Chalk. Mm -hmm. Let's find some partners that can help us provide health care and keep people well and healthy. Right. Well, with all the changes that we've seen in the industry, you know, what do you see for the future of the healthcare industry, you know, especially for our residents here in Laguna Woods Village? You know, obviously there's going to be a continuation of this notion of keeping people well and healthy mm -hmm. and active and living a high quality life. We will see um, care plans and teams that will keep people out of the hospital and mm -hmm. keep them in their homes, uh, places where they want to be and um, hopefully in a way that or in a state which is um, a healthier state, something that they can uh, enjoy their lives for a longer period of time. And, mm -hmm. and so that's our goal and we're gonna continue to do that right. as an institution. And I think too, you know, the internet, even though it's been a, you know, harmful at times, but it's more mm -hmm. so helpful that people can actually, you know, get educated and learn about, you know, what healthcare advantages are out there for them and what benefits are available to them and, and learn more about, you know, whatever ailments they might be having and then go seek a professional. So, you know, it's important too, you have a wonderful website, hogue.org, and there's terrific information there, you know, to, like you just talked about for education and wellness. So I think that's a great opportunity as well. Well, you've all been the forefront in, you know, in the latest technology and offerings, and you know, the website is one of them. So given some of the recent examples, you know, of care options that you might be, you know, looking forward to that Hogue will be bringing to their participants. You know, a great question. That's one of the hallmarks of Hogue is advanced technology, mm -hmm. very high quality, and. 
some of the recent things that we have been doing is we, we just um, purchased what we call a PET MRI. Mm -hmm. It's an advanced diagnostic tool. We're the only community hospital in the Western United States to have it. It comes online in about a month. But this technology will now allow the clinicians to diagnose conditions like Alzheimer's um, years before we can do it clinically really? um, in an office. And so if we can diagnose it early, we can then treat it and back to the wellness Point, it keeps people healthier and well longer. Right. And so that's that's one um, example of how we invest in technology to help drive health. Right. We were fortunate enough to, a couple years ago to go over to the orthopedic center that you have yeah. over there in Irvine, and we did a couple of segments over there, and we were so impressed with the. It was spotless for one. It was the most beautiful you know hospital center I've ever been to, but the technology that they had available to them. I mean, obviously, it's great for the doctors and everybody, the healthcare workers within that you know, hospital, but you know, for the patient, for them to be able to recover quickly, to be diagnosed quickly, I mean, that's a great advantage that Hogue has done that's brought technology and that kind of system together for their patients. It's, uh, it's quite remarkable. It is remarkable, and it's not only advantageous to the patients, mm -hmm. but it attracts the best clinicians in the area. Mm -hmm. And that's good for healthcare, it's good for the community, and um, it's a formula for success. Absolutely. Now you've been in this industry, you know, since the early 90s. You know, what, what big changes do you think you've seen in all this time? Is, is technology really the biggest change that we've seen in healthcare? You know, technology has really driven uh, changes in the way we deliver care. Mm -hmm. So much now is being provided in the outpatient setting, um, not inside the walls of the hospital. And right. technology has enabled a lot of that. We're now able to do surgeries and have people home the same night that right. five years ago they would have stayed in the hospital three to five days, yeah. and that's that's really helped. We're now able to communicate with patients in their homes mm -hmm. uh, through telemedicine, which again five years ago we weren't doing, and all of that uh, drives health, wellness, and higher yeah. quality of care. And I think that's the the exciting part about technology. Like you just telemedicine, yeah. never even heard of that before, but you know, it, obviously I know basically what it means, but. What a great opportunity for someone that's at home, especially people in our community that maybe can't get out as, as good as you know, the average uh, you know, patient. And uh, they can communicate with their doctors still and then maybe even you know, imagine one day see their vitals you know, at, from home, oh, yeah. right? Absolutely, that's occurring today. And yeah. that technology has allowed the interaction or the relationship with the doctor to change. Mm -hmm. It used to be where come to the doctor and we'll fix you. Yeah. Now that doctor, given the technology, can be in a role where he can coach mm -hmm. and coach you to keep you well. Very different relationship, right. a healthier relationship. Absolutely. Well, we, we look forward to the partnership that Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian is bringing to the community of Laguna Woods Village, and we thank you for coming on the program. Uh, Hogue is, uh, you know, they have located right down the street, really. You have location in Irvine as well, right? Yeah, Aliso Viejo. In Aliso Viejo. So they're really neighbors of Laguna Woods Village community. If you have any questions, give them a call at 1-800-400-H-O-A-G, and that's 4624. Or go on their website, it's really well done. It's hogue.org, and you can get all that information. Well, doc, uh, <laughs> Mr. Braithwaite, thanks so much. I was gonna call you a doctor. Here we are <laughs> talking about medicine so much. Mr. Braithwaite, so much uh, of a pleasure to have you on the program today, and we look forward to this partnership. Thank you very much, nice to be here. You bet. Well, we'll be back with more of our program right after this. Good job.